Today we'll be using ProShot to take photos of planets while changing the shutter speed in the ISO. Presumably you'd use an app like Starwalk 2 to find planets such as Jupiter and Saturn to do this lab. We'll start off using ProShot. Now before getting started, you want to make sure that the flash is set to off, that the widescreen is set to on, 16 by 9, and that the live mode is off, that it's grayed out. You'll next click on the bottom right hand corner and make sure that you can set the delay to three seconds. We're doing this so that after you start taking your photo, the camera can quit jiggling uh, before it starts actually taking the image. Next, we'll make sure that we've set the lens to its default setting. You might only have one lens, depending on the kind of camera. You might have three. Uh, we'll go to whatever the default is here, though. Next, we'll set the white balance to about 4000 Kelvin, 4000 K. Next, we'll set the ISO to 100. Later, we'll be changing this, but for now, let's start with 100 as our ISO. Now, assuming that you have a new version of ProShot, you should be able to set the shutter to 1. This might have a little asterisk next to it. It might have 1 over 1, but you want that shutter set to 1. So scroll until you can uh, select the 1 for the shutter. Finally, we're going to set the focus manually uh, to somewhere between 80 and 90, and you might need to adjust this depending on your camera. Now that you've got the settings in place, you can put your camera on either the tripod that you've purchased or the phone stand, or if you used a Pop-Tarts box, you can use that instead. If you're using the phone stand for this particular lab, if the thing that you're taking the photo of is low in the sky, you might need to place it such that the screen is facing down uh, and being held in, in the stand that way. This is counterintuitive uh, how you might have used the phone stand, but this is what you'll need to do uh, for this lab if Jupiter and Saturn or the planet you're taking a photo of is low in the sky. After you've taken that first photo, you'll repeat the same photo keeping the ISO at 100, but changing the shutter to 2 seconds, and then 4 seconds, and then 10 seconds, and then 30 seconds, so that you have 5 total photos uh, with the ISO set to 100. You'll need to scroll through here to set that shutter speed. Your photo might end up looking like this. This is a photo taken of Jupiter and Saturn uh, in the south sky at Elon and you see it looks pretty smooth with a little bit of motion there. After you have those five photos we'll change the ISO and set it to 800 instead and repeat those five photos with the shutter set to 1, 2, 4, 10, and 30 seconds. So make sure you scroll and set the ISO accordingly. The photos should look very different than when you had it set to 100, and when you do the post lab, you'll and you'll talk about your. And when you do the post lab, you'll answer some questions on the difference between these photos. That's how to take the photos for your Planet Photos lab, where you're changing shutter speed and ISO in ProShot.